Hi guys, today I want to show you how you can access EGB from a web service called Java API RESTful web service, short JAX-RS. First we have to create a web application, or you can also create an enterprise application. Let's call it JAX-RS. Okay, starting by creating a session bin, let's call it uh, message package source stateless by default. So here we create a little method. Message. Okay, we created a simple message, get method. Now, uh, we jump to the web service. What we can do, we create a session bin, stateless, call it test package service, wherever. What we have to add here, the path, path, it's a name, test. We have also to import it. Next thing we have to use dependency ejection. Private message message import. Okay, get. Produces and we tell to application what is produced text HTML. Input, input, then the actual method public string. HTML. You can call it any name. Get message. Okay, here's the Windows pop up. I leave it by default. I only change to make it short here. Resources path. So I make it res. And res I leave it by default. Now we have to test the first we need to deploy our application. It's successfully deployed. Now test. Okay, after deployment uh, I show you two ways how you can test your application. The first way you can run it and here resources and test as shown here. Two. And each time you refresh, it will generate one of the three. Another way how you can test your web service by going here, choose test restful web service uh, and simply browse choosing your web service. Click OK. 
This way I prefer because you can uh, have more than just one web service so in this window you can choose one of them. Press text and test three. But in this case you cannot refresh it fast enough. <laughs> so it's just a little bit slower. The next thing I want to show you how you can simply generate the RESTful web service by going new, other, here you're choosing, um, let's see, web services. In our case, we have really simple examples, so we're not going service for entity classes or from database. We're choosing from patterns, simple root resource. Next, we call it jer short. Instead of application XML, we text HTML. Click next. So it's almost generate the same type of code we uh, we done manually. And here we just taking this method, dropping here our method get message. Here return get message, and let's test it again. I'll do this way. Instead of typing, too lazy. Okay, now test one. So now you can see the both here. As much you have, you can see all of them. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you.